Hello guys, some of you may know this room I'm standing in at the moment because this is exact same room the internet FTW stood in when he began his more or less first video on his redstone ALU completely built in Minecraft. In the description of this video, in the description of his last video, he said he would make sort of a flyover tour, but sadly he never did. I can assure you that he is not dead, since he is still very active on his Reddit account. You can get the basic information about the CPU, the hack platform, in the Internet FDW's last video, where he also showed us the processor running a small little program. The upcode and a few other things were also discussed in the video. So let's go outside. There it is. But now let's start with a promised flyover tour, where I can also show you the inner parts of the hack, hack CPU. Starting with a special instruction set, all depending on the leftmost bit, the compute bit. Just to let you know, the hack platform is a CPU design. Intel 8386, Intel Core i5 2500K and Intel Core i7 950 are such designs too. This here is the compute bit. Scary cave sound. Um, if the compute bit is off, we're sending a value to the A register, also simply called address register. Another way around, we're sending a value to the address register, simply called the A register. This would be an A instruction. If this is off, the other bits will send the value to the A register. Let's test it. We're sending two, clock the CPU, and the value now is in the A register. This here is the display which shows what value we've stored in the A register right now. Um, if it is on, if the compute bit is on, this one here, we're, um, we're giving an instruction to the CPU, telling it what to do with the values stored in different locations. This would be a C instruction. This is an A instruction for the CPU and this is a C instruction, compute bit. This down here is the A register. The A register can hold one value for three different purposes. It either stores a normal binary number so we can add it together with a data or D register above, or it represents the address for the RAM where the computed output over here, this is the computed output, will be saved in. Or it is the counter load to set the program counter. We have no program counter yet, but. I don't know, just to let you know, to set the program counter if a jump bit comes in. Right now I will set the A register to 2, oh no, I have done this already. And the computed output is 0. So if we now take a C instruction and check it for a jump, those three bits, those three bits are the jump conditions, less than 0, equal to 0, greater than 0, or in the combination of those. Right now the output is zero, so we check it, and the jump bit goes high, meaning the counter would now uh, would now be set to line number two. Remember, a counter starts counting at uh, line number zero. So this is actually third line encode. The D register only holds binary values. After the two main registers, we see two we see two huge buses. This one here carries the output of the A register. Um, actually, the RAM and the instruction memory would be hooked up somewhere near here, because both of them get their address from the A register. Also, depending on the opcode given to the CPU. <coughs> The second bus carries the out uh, carries the in the output of the currently addressed RAM register. Both um, this one is carried to a MUX, a multiplexer. This one decides if either the A register, the address register, can get through the ALU, or the addressed memory, the value stored in the currently addressed memory, can get to the ALU. So, um, I could show you that if I did not forget the upcode of this. Right now you see we have a 
we have the two from the A register coming in over here and now let's see if we can get the f the four from here to it I think it was um, no clock anymore it was this of code so now these the four over here should get into the ALU and it doesn't because I do not remember the opcode. Sorry for that. Um, let's go on. Sorry for this little fail. I did not send a four um, to the mux. I sent a. Da -da -da. What number is it? I was sending 8192. 192 to the mux. So if we now check it again, opcode is set. It should actually come out over here, and it does. There it is. Let's check it for the number two. In binary, you start counting from right, which is the less significant bit, and this here would be the highest, the most significant bit. Now this would be two, and this would come out here. Sorry for that. Uh, show must go on. Right behind those buses and the control logic, da -da -da -da, we see the ALU and some other maxes for different instructions. The ALU can do simple. Wait, I will show the ALU, this huge thing over here. Um, the ALU can do simple arithmetic and logic operations to incoming values. We can either add the D register with the A register or we can add the D register with the memory. We can increment the A or D register or the memory, decrement it, we can do bitwise AND operation to D and A or memory and so on and so on. This is what an ALU does. Compare to bits, to incoming values, whatever. When the ALU has done its job um, the result of it will go first of all to the output screen which would be this bus here and it will go back to the two main registers A and D which would be this bus here this one the mux before those two registers the multiplexer over here decides whether the um, computed output of the ALU will get to one of the two registers or if the A instruction can get to the A register. So now you should know a little bit more about the Internet FTV, FTW's hack plat platform. Please feel free to ask questions if you did not understand a certain part. If enough people are going to ask me, I will finish the CPU, so I would add RAM and ROM and a program counter. I would also write smaller programs into it and would make a memory mapped screen to the last RAM address. In the description you can find a couple of videos and further information of finished hack CPUs on YouTube. I hope my English was quite understandable and see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.